Millions of Canadians are excited for September 25th, 2024, when the fall leaves turn and the air cools. The next CPP payment deposit date is today, a vital source of income for retirees, disabled people and survivors. Canada's retirement income system relies on the CPP, which has helped eligible Canadians for decades. Due to changing Canadian demands, the 1965 Canada Pension Plan has undergone several revisions and enhancements. It's crucial to understand the CPP's current state, its effects on recipients, and any future adjustments as we approach the September 2024 payment date. This in-depth look at the CPP, the payment date, and present and prospective beneficiaries will be helpful. Understanding the Canada Pension Plan structure is essential to understanding the September 25, 2024 CPP deposit due, a contributory earnings-related social insurance program. The CPP provides a steady income for Canadians in retirement or disability. CPP is paid by mandated employee contributions, unlike OS, which is subsidized by general tax income. employment and self-employment. Employees and employers pay equal payroll deductions to the CPPP throughout their careers. Self-employed people pay both parts. The CPPP Investment Board CPPIB oversees and invests these contributions to maintain the plan's long-term survival. CPPIB's investment strategy is to create returns to pay current and future payments and increase the fund for an aging population. Retirement pensions, disability benefits, and survivor payments are CPP benefits. Those over 60 with at least one legitimate CPP contribution can receive retirement pensions. CPP retirement benefits begin at 65, although individuals can start receiving reduced benefits at 60 or defer them until 70 for higher monthly payouts. CPP contributors with severe and prolonged disabilities can get disability payments, while survivor benefits support the house or common law partner and dependent children of a deceased CPP contributor. CPP payments are usually made on the third to last banking day of each month, which is essential for the September 25, 2024 deposit date. Receivers receive their payments before the end of the month using this arrangement for improved financial planning and management. Millions of Canadians depend on these benefits to cover their living expenses and preserve their quality of life. This payment schedule gives them stability and reliability. An individual's CPP benefits depend on their age when they start receiving benefits, their contribution amount, and their contribution years. Retirement pensions. Average of contributors' best 39 years of earnings, adjusted for inflation, determines benefit. This computation approach guarantees compensation based on lifetime earnings and plan contributions. Many beneficiaries may be curious about benefit adjustments as September 2020-2024 approaches. CPP benefits are changed annually to reflect CPI measured cost of living changes. This annual indexation preserves the purchasing power of CPP benefits, allowing participants to maintain their level of living despite inflation. Along with the yearly cost of living adjustment, CPP participants should be aware of continuing plan enhancements that may alter their benefit amounts in the future. The 2019 CPP supplement gradually increases future retiree payments. These modifications may increase benefits for present and near future retirees, but not until 2065. The CPPP enhancement will phase in higher contribution rates and boost earnings to the CPP. The goal is to replace one third of a contributor's average employment earnings from the preceding quarter for those approaching retirement or receiving CPP payments. Note that even tiny improvement increases can build up over time, offering retirement financial security. As the September 25, 2024 deposit date approaches, CPP users must learn how to access and manage their benefits. CPP payments can be received by direct deposit or mail from Service Canada. Many recipients choose direct deposit. Since it ensures monies are in their bank accounts on payment day without waiting for and depositing a check, receivers can use My Service Canada or Contact Service Canada to set up or adjust direct deposit. You should update your personal and banking information well before the payment date to avoid delays or difficulty getting payments. Service Canada offers many online tools and information for recipients, which can track payments, examine benefit statements, and access key CPP benefits information. September 2024 may be important for persons approaching retirement and deciding when to start receiving their CPP retirement pension. But people who turn 60 before September 2024 may receive their CPP retirement payout that month. Star CPP benefits early, but consider the consequences. Since it permanently reduces monthly benefits, when to start getting CPP retirement benefits depends on health, finances, and retirement plans. Early benefit startup provides instant income, but requires monthly payments during retirement. 
TPP benefits start later after 65, increasing monthly payouts, which can benefit those who intend to live long and have additional income streams for early retirement. As we approach the September 2024 payment deadline, near retirees should reassess their CPP alternatives and seek competent financial guidance to make informed retirement income strategy selections. Financial advisors can assist people evaluate their finances, examine the tax implications of potential CP start dates, and create a retirement plan that maximizes benefits and supports their preferred lifestyle. On September 25, 2024, CPP participants should examine their financial status and make sure their CPP benefits are being used efficiently as part of their financial strategy. Budgets, investment portfolios, and retirement tax efficiency may be reviewed. Other government benefits and programs may complement CPP income, so now is the time to investigate. Such as low-income senior GIs or provincial support programs, as the CPP contribution date approaches, we should assess the plan's overall impact on Canadians' financial well-being. For almost five decades, the CPP has provided consistent and reliable income for millions of pensioners, handicapped people, and, and surviving. Its longevity and improvements show Canada's dedication to citizen financial stability in old age. While the CPP offers a solid foundation for retirement income, it is not meant to be the main source of retirement income. Most financial gurus recommend replacing 60 to 70 percent of pre-retirement income to maintain standard of life due to CPPP payments replacing just a part of pre-retirement wages. Besides the CPP, Canadians should also use employer pensions, RSPS tax-free savings accounts, and personal savings according to TFC. As we approach the September 2024 payment date, all Canadians, regardless of age or job position, should examine their retirement preparation and take efforts to improve their financial future. To create a retirement strategy, this may involve boosting retirement savings contributions, reviewing investment possibilities, or getting professional financial counsel. CPP recipients' imminent payment date emphasizes retirement financial management. This includes budgeting, controlling costs, and making informed retirement account withdrawal decisions. Wills and powers of attorney can be reviewed. To reflect contemporary desires and situations, the Canada Pension Plan's role in supporting an aging population should be considered beyond the September 2024 payout date. As baby boomers retire and life expectancies rise, Canada and other industrialized nations face demographic challenges. The pension system is under strain from these changes, highlighting the need for continuing reforms and modifications to sustain the CPP. The 2019 CPP supplement is one way the government is strengthening the retirement income system. However, changing demographic and economic conditions may require constant monitoring and modifications. Staying updated about CPP developments and participating in public discussions regarding retirement security in Canada is crucial for engaged citizens and CPP can contributors or recipients. In conclusion, millions of Canadians view the September 25, 2024 CPP contribution date as more than just another payday. It is the result of years of contributions, a social contract between generations, and vital financial support for pensioners, disabled people, and survivors nationwide. This occasion reminds us of the financial worth of social insurance programs and the need to modify and strengthen our retirement income system to meet the needs of all Canadians. The September 2024 CPP deposit date is important whether you're a recipient excitedly expecting your next payout a worker building the plan and planning for the future, or a concerned citizen concerned about your community's financial well-being. It's time to assess our financial stability, review our retirement plans, and debate how we can support and strengthen the Canada Pension Plan for future generations. Let's remember that each CPP payment is a pledge to Canadians' dignity and well-being in retirement and in times of need as we approach September 25, 2024. Our social safety net promotes unity and mutual help. By understanding, appreciating, and using the CPP and other retirement income system components, each of us may help assure a bright future for ourselves and all Canadians.